about my movie on the Mexican-American War and everything that led up to it. This is a three-act movie with many scenes. In the first act, the battles of the Texas Revolution and what happened in each, there are four scenes. These are named the attack plan, the battle of the Alamo, the town meeting, and the battle of San Jacinto. The cast for this is as follows. Peyton as General Gonzalez in Cowboy 1, Hayden as Santa Ana in Cowboy 2, Emily as Cowboy 1, um, Cowgirl 1, and Daniela as Cowgirl 2. So if we attack here, we'll have the advantage. See, I can see that happening, but what if we attack here instead? Maybe we should go in between and go right here. See, that'd work perfectly. How about we attack February 23rd of 1836? So two months from now? That is correct. In the name of liberty, of patriotism, and everything dear to the American character, to come to our aid with all dispatch, victory or death, William Travis, from a letter written at the Alamo, 1836. Slaughtered. We should revolt against them. That's what got us into this situation in the first place. We should have a yes. town meeting yes. instead to yes. everyone else there. Yeah, let's go around the folks. It's over. It's over. You're done. Let's go, buddy. You're getting set in the end. You're captured. We gotta come up with a plan to attack the Mexicans. Yes, so. Quiet right down. Arguing will get us nowhere. I think we should we should relax for a little bit. Let their guard come down. But if we stop now, they won't think we're serious. I think we gotta attack now while they're gloating. I suppose. Mexico, March 19, 1874. Mr. H. A. McArdle, Independence, Texas. Dear sir, in response to your favor of the 4th of January, I have to say that in regard to the restitution or restoration of the Fortress of the Alamo in April 1836. There is but little I can add to what you said in my official dispatches and what was notorious. Notwithstanding, for your satisfaction, I will add that the conflict of arms was bloody because the Chief Travis, who commanded the forces of the Alamo, would not enter into any capitulation and his responses were insulting, which made it imperative to assault the fort before it could be reinforced by Samuel Houston, who was marching to its succor with respectable forces. The obstinacy of Travis and his soldiers was the cause of the death of the whole of them, not, for not one would surrender. The struggle lasted more than two hours, and until the ramparts were resolutely scaled, by Mexican soldiers. Oh, that too is, why did the Texas Constitution all allow slavery? There's two scenes in this act. These scenes are called the voting for slavery in Texas and Congress making the law. The cast goes like this. Peyton as cowboy and Congressman two. Peyton as Congressman one. Emily as slave one. And lastly, Daniela as slave two. Alright, we we don't know if Mexicans can. Yeah, we was we was yelling. Remember the album? Hey, hey, I was talking here. Okay, well, anyways, we we're screaming. Spoil your life. We we're yelling for the Alamo. Really? Was Santana surprised? Yeah, so surprised we captured him. Where is he? He's down there signing the police treaty right now. Santa was confident of victory but he was careless in choosing the site for his camp. On the afternoon of April 21st, 1836, while Mexican troops were resting, Houston's forces swarmed the camp, shouting, Remember the Alamo. Remember Goliad. Hey, Congress has wanted me to take a vote on slavery. Wow. Dude, 
see if Texas wants to be a free or state to state Tom Brady. Why not? Because I think God created everyone equal. I personally agree with Terry Lee because it's free work. Well, let's say you have to pay for us and get it. And you don't get it as much money as you want. Plus, God created us all equal. Okay. There are 36,000 people who want slavery, and then there's 14,000 who don't. Well, that means Texas should be annexed into the United States as, as a slave state. Well, this is how it should be. Deal. Who surrendered and made the treaty in the Mexican-American War? This is a one-scene act, but is a large scene. The parts in this scene is as follows. Peyton as Nicholas P. Tris, Hayden as General Scott, Emily as the bodyguard, and Daniela as Pedro Marie and Anya. Penye, why Penye? We hope you enjoy our movie. Start with ending this war, and then we should settle some of the disagreements that we have, and we can give you the money that you need. Okay, that sounds good. What has your president said about delaying this war? Right here. That looks about right, yes. How much will you pay for it? We'll pay $15 million for Texas and California. It's a deal. Thank you. We acted out a scene with Santa Ana, Captain Gonzalez, planning an attack on the Americans on February 23rd of 1836. Then we showed that in the next cut of the Battle of the Alamo and the, and the cowboy and the cowgirl talking. They were talking about how the Mexicans beat, beat them bad in the Battle of the Alamo. They, they then agreed to have a town meeting of, to, to decide if they wanted to revolt against them or not. Then we cut to the town meeting where, where it was the cowboys arguing, and the cowboy breaks it up, and the meeting, they argue if they should attack or they or not, and the majority goes to attack. The next cut, it then opens on, on, on two cowboys, happy that they won, and saying, we was yelling, remember the Alamo? They were very happy that they won. And the cowboys say that Santa Ana was captured, and they even force a peace treaty, and they're very happy about their act two. And in the first cut, we had the congressman and the, and the cowboy were talking, and the and they want and the congressman wanted to take a vote on if uh, if Texas wanted to be a slavery state or not. The cowboy does not because he says that. Um, all, everyone should be created equally as God, want, as God intended it to be. And Congress says no because he needs them for, for free labor and to uh, increase population. And then um, and the Congressman also argues that, um, that, that he gets money from for, for the slaves, but then the cowboy argues that he's really not because he's paid. And then slaves said that, that, that we are humans too and that we want to be equal just like everyone else. And the congressman says we have to have slaves for population. And the cowboy then says they can increase population. And then the next cut was um, the congressman, Congress they, uh, they had a meeting and the, the votes were in said that the uh, people voted, 36,000 people wanted to be a slave, wanted Texas to be a slavery state, and 14,000 did not. And then, so, therefore, Texas was annexed as a slavery state. In Act 3, Nicholas Petras and General Scott went to the Mexican president to create a peace treaty. Nicholas says that they should settle some disagreements while they are there. And this treaty then ends the war and also establishes borders with Texas and Mexico. They agree to pay $15 million for land 
to the land of Texas and California. They end up agreeing on all this.